everybody, my name is Dr. Yu, and welcome to Inscription. Uh, I've heard a lot about this. I know nothing about it. Well, no, it's not you. I know there's cards. And horror aspects. That's... That's, that's about it, though. <laughs> uh... So, I, 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 I'm excited for this. Uh, also, uh, it's a little bit of a birthday recording as well, because birthday today. So, it, you know, it's exciting. It's an exciting day, you know. So why not share some excitement with you guys, actually upload for once. I know, amazing, right? I upload something. <laughs> uh, oh, and by the way, we are joined by Sea Sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. And so we're gonna play through this. I have no clue what's gonna happen, but uh, I guess let's click this. Sure. Boop. Daniel Mullins games. Devolver. Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. Yeah, it is. Whatever this thing is. Oh, that's a very familiar sound. Ooh. Okay. That's any key to start. Continue options, credits, quit, new game. Ooh. Okay, so new game is blocked out. I have to continue. Uh, what are my options here? Oh, that's weird. English, screen shake, flicker, full screen, noise effects, quality, resolution, brightness. Oh, we'll turn down the volume a bit. If it turns out too quiet, we'll fix it later. Let's continue, uh, I guess. Let's continue something we've never started, I guess. Cause it won't let me click new game. Maybe new game's something special. I don't I don't know. That's a floppy disk. I think. Looks floppy. Looks disk. Can I move? Nope, can't do anything. Just looking into the abyss. Oh hi. Good morning. Another challenger, it has been ages. Perhaps you've forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Uh, squirrel, stoat, wolf, wolf, uh, squirrel, I guess. That's what he wants. And play your stoat. S? Oh. Okay. Stoat. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Oh, an honorable death. Play the stoat. I'll play it here. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Okay. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is the attack. Okay, so attack and this is probably health. Probably. Oh. The stoat deals me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. Okay. My turn. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote does two damage to your stoat. This means your stoat's health is two less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. Well, that makes sense. It's your turn again. Shell from your deck or major all squirrel. I probably want a squirrel. How dull. Well, fuck you. Because I think if my brain is correct, I can squirrel. And then if I... <laughs> what? What? Was that card talking? See, you saw it too, right? Uh, I'll just place my wolf down. It's suffering is real, but you will see it again. What? Okay. 
Yeah. Because you're learning, I will pass. Ding. Three damage dealt, three weights on the scale. Pass. Oh, turtle. I can't really play it, so I'll just... Ding. You've won this match. This, they won't all be this easy. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. Oh, you were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Okay, I guess we're doing the path. Sure. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. The caustic adder, damage from its poison bite, is always lethal. Ooh. The undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast, does not kill it. Oh. So, I could sacrifice it to get infinite mana? Or blood, I guess? You may only grace one of your poultry dad. Well, I guess I want the cat. Oh, that's neat. It tells me about it. Touch a death on a card bearing sigil damages another creature. That creature perishes. I guess I'll take the cat. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. I came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle, break in case of emergency. And have a second. Another useful implement. It allows. Oh. That's one of the objects I heard about from one of my friends. I'm not sure why, but alright. Pliers. Maybe I can do stuff with them? I don't know. You're ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. Uh. <laughs> while well, sleeping. It's the right play. I get it. Maybe. You'll help me? What? Play along for now. What? <laughs> uh, you may now see my moves ahead of time. Oh, he's got a wolf cub. The stoat's alive. What? Oh, I can't play the cat because I need blood. Okay. So I play the squirrel. And then... I play the cat over the squirrel, and then I sacrifice the cat, but it comes back to life, and now I can play the stoat. Here we go. Okay. Neat. Go. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. I don't have enough sacrifices, unless I sacrifice my stoat. Which... I guess wouldn't be a bad move, per se. <laughs> I don't know what he said before I... Oh, jeez. Ooh, okay, so the wolf cub aged up into a wolf. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Oh, crap. I took damage. Flew right over your wolf. Um, place the squirrel. And then I can play my river snapper. Yeah. And then I can... And then I win, right? No. Oh, crud. Uh. Idea. Wolfy wolf, let's go. Hey! You prevailed and checked onward past the bloody, the now bloody terrain. The young wolf cub, it grows into a wolf after a single turn. The meek sparrow, an inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Uh, give me the cub. What's this? 
you stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Cat or cub? Uh. I don't want to get rid of either of these, but I guess cub. <laughs> you looked upon your sacrifice. You looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. Pick me. All right. Stoat, if you want to be picked, you're picked. There you go, Stoat. <laughs> what an honor. Oh. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the wolf cub now lives in the Stoat. It gained, like, the age ability, right? I think. Maybe. It's kind of funky. What is that? Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with a, the airborne sigil. Does that mean all of his dogs are going to be flying? Oh, it does. Oh, that's... That's fucky. I don't like that. Uh, my hand is also kind of balls right now. Oh, shit. Emergency squirrel. <gasps> Eh, not bad. <clears throat> my totem is granted my cat with the power of flight. Eesh. A squirrel. Uh. Heh. <laughs> You're three damage away from winning. Stoat? No, it's my wolf. Gah. <laughs> I can read about them. To the user, you will place a weight on the scale. Pain is temporary. So something tells me that hurts me. Aha! Ow. Stoat? He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough keeps me around to watch me suffer. Back on the board. <laughs> Go! Yeah! I win! Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. That was good. The Proud Wolf. The stalwart snapper, a nearly full of defense. The ordinary porcupine's sharp quills await those who dare attack it. Ooh. Uh, I'll take a porcupine. I'll take a porcupine pin. Uh, that's a sack. What's a campfire? That's campfire. Ooh. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around the campfire. They look upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come warm one of your creatures by the fire. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power. You notice the survivors wiping drool from their mouths. Are they gonna eat one of my creatures? Uh. Well, if it increases the damage, I... Uh. You better not hurt him. You better not hurt Stoat. I'm trusting this. Two damage. We're fire warming the poor Stoat, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the Stoat away from the fire and left. Alright. My Stoat is not hurt. Now my Stoat's just powerful. Alright. Another fight. Uh, 
I got trees. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I'll tear you to shreds. Mm. Whoa! Four six grizzly. Yeesh. That's a scary. Uh, what do I got? I got my stoat. Got a porcupine and a wolf. So it's gonna do four damage. But my stoat's gonna grow up. Uh, I guess let's play it like this. Put my stoat down and hope it grows fast enough that I can get out enough damage to counter the... Huh! Something tells me I might not supposed to- I'm, I might not supposed to be the win this. Uh, porcupine. Go! A thorny rebuke. Use the squirrel as a meat shield. Yeesh. I don't- yeah, I think I lose. I don't- it, no, yeah, okay. Just four more grizzlies. Okay, fair- fair fight, buddy. We've lost. He's just learning opportunity maybe in the way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the bear. What? I can- Ooh. I can- Is that a clock? Can I- can I touch it? Can I move it? Can I poke it? Can I feel it? Can I do anything with it? Oh! I can. You spin me right around, baby, right around. Uh... Uh Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's today's date. 1025. <laughs> it's funny. Laugh. I don't know. Uh beautiful artwork. Uh this is safe. It's figurines. Is that a hand? There's a hand. It's like holding it still. Uh, uh, 21. That's that's gotta be it, right? <laughs> Solved it. What's going on over here? Oh, door's locked. Uh, that's a knife. Oh, he's just staring- has he just been staring at me this whole time? Oh yeah, no, he just watches me, huh? Oh. Did that hand move? The hand moved. The hand that was here, you saw that, right? Like, there was a hand there, right? I'm not delusional? Okay, I- Hey, buddy. <laughs> Can I talk to you? No? You can just look into your eyes. Okay. There's a wolf in that cage. There's a globe. Uh, is that the candles he wants? No. He said candles. Do not. Oh, maybe he means those candles. Ah, oh, he means these candles. Bring it here. Okay, there you go. Now sit back down. Yes, sir. Let me explain something to you. Oh, why'd you do that? That was one of two mistakes you could make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now where were we? Oh, jeez. All right, high stakes. Uh, what is that? Is that a boss? Uh, am I gonna want to upgrade a card, or am I gonna want to get more items? What do you think, Sue? Upgrade a card or more items? Uh, do whatever you think is right. <laughs> Fair enough. 
Uh, I'm gonna go more items. I get a, I get a good feeling about the items. They're gonna help me. The, the, ah, the conniving raven, a blight upon the skies. Two damage, three health. Sparrow, wolf. Mmm, I'll take a raven. Maybe it might save my, save my bacon. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air for only a turn. If you deem it necessary, you may cut one of my cards with these. Yeah, I'll, I would like to slice one of your cards. A rock may get you out of a hard place. Or I could get another card slice. Uh, I'll get it. I'll take the card slice. Feeling our burn enough with three items, you carried on. Oh god. Whoa! The cheese around you seemed to close as the chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Oh! Do you, do you wanna do you wanna do the voice? You wanna do some voices here? Nah. Fair enough. Hee ha! Twas the prospector. All right, prospector time. I guess. I do like how he put on a mask, and you can actually kind of see him now. You know what I mean? Coyote and a pack mule. Uh, what do I got? Squirrel, snapper, porcupine, and wolf, and a boulder. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I guess it's just porcupine for now. Squirrel, por porcupine blocked the coyote. Go. I'll do one damage. Coyote will hit me, but I'll spike them, and they'll both die. Which you know isn't necessarily bad. I uh, can't really do much because all my cards are too cost right now. Oh, the adder bit that rock. Bit right through that rock, though. Eee, that was... I should have gone for a squirrel. Yeesh! Yeesh, yeesh, yeesh. I might have to do some card cutting here. What's more deadly to me, though? The coyote? The adder? Probably the coyote. If I'm being honest. Alright. Sacrifice both of these. Kill the adder. Grab some scissors. Hell with you. And then... I can pick up... Squirrel. Then... That's going to do some good damage, but he's going to do that right back to me. But, now I got some squirrels, and now I can sacrifice them with, and get my own wolf. Bam, bam. Yeah, alright, alright, alright. Give me... Give me a card. Cat! Cat's good! Uh, no, 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 I don't want to say... Okay. Uh, I'll put the cat here. Hey! I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. Wait, what? Oh, shit. There's gold in them cards! Uh, what, what, uh -huh? Gold! I've struck gold! He, I, my cards! <laughs> he just turned them all into gold nuggets! Get him! Oh, shit. What was, huh? Huh? Block this bucko boy.
He's doing the prospector again? Easy, boss. The mule's key. The mule's key? I don't know what you mean, Stoat, but all right. Get out there. Raise some hell. I think... If this works how I think it works. If you are worth two blood, you're not. I'm gonna cut the adder past my turn. <laughs> Enough! <laughs> oh, he's now an elder student. <laughs> so I should just win now, right? Because the raven should just do enough to kill. Right? Hey! I beat him. Nice. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you off quite yet. Hey. A miner's bane. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Whoa! The level of brutish strength needs no explanation. Four blood, though. An unexpiring geck. Perhaps you can have a use for it? Uh, no cost, though. Child 13. Poor abandoned child. It does not know when to die when sacrificed. But do you have the heart to try? So, is child 13 just another cat? Uh... Well, I mean, this card is really powerful, but, uh... Hmm... For blood, am I ever going to get the chance to use it? I'll take it, I guess. Maybe I'll be able to use it eventually. With the sound of Prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onward. Hmm. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You trend cautiously into the wetlands. Oh, and I could just stand up. He doesn't care. So did anything change? Did you do, 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 do anything? Can I poke your eyes? I'm gonna poke you. I get you. I get you. anything with any of this? Does any of this mean anything to me? Not really. Yeah, none of this really means anything. I can wiggle this, and I can wiggle this, but I can't do anything with any of it, so I guess I'll just sit back down and keep playing, I guess. Uh... Snapper. Cat. The immovable, the inviolable beehive. When it's attacked, you will draw a bee. I'll take a beehive, sure. Beehive for the boys. <laughs> the bee boys. Um, I, that's pra I think that's the last time we saw a totem fight. So I probably want to go this way to avoid the totem fight. So I'll do a sacrifice. Who are we sacrificing? Sacrifice. I could put the cat ability on something. I also could put the bee ability on something. I'll put the bee ability on something. We're gonna make... Will that work? Hold on. Once a card bearing a sigil is struck, Bees created in your hand. Bees defined as one pair, one health, airborne. Does sacrificing the cat count as striking it? 
Actually, if I put it on the porcupine, that could also be pretty good. Because porcupine's automate already getting struck and getting benefits, so... Why not just give him more benefits for getting hit, you know? Boom! Now he gets two benefits for getting hit. It's big brain. Uh, hey, I got my porcupine. He's got, he's got bees. He's got bees. All right, squirrel. Into cat. In to porcupine. End my turn. Yeah, one damage. Oh, but he won't hit my porcupine, will he? Ah, jeez. Then if I do that and place my raven. Yeah, yeah, now we're getting it. It's me. <laughs> it's him. <laughs> Oh, what? What the heck? What? Bifurcated strike. A card bearing this sigil will strike each opposing space to the left and right of the space across. Oh. Okay, interesting. Total misplay. Hey! How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Who's the trapper? You were stopped along- Well, I guess this is the trapper! <laughs> Something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly dis distracted by his wares. Care to look at my pelts? Take a pelt, free of charge! How many teeth do I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See the quality? Yeah, I don't have enough for that, but I can get a wolf pelt. Sure. Um, y you're leaving already? Please consider my pelts. Thanks for your business. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight, but he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. The trader further down the path. Uh, who's the traitor? Is that the traitor? Is that... Is, is, I don't see no traitor or anything that looks traitory. Is that the traitor? I don't know. Uh... Got bonfire and a sacrifice. Oh! Bonfire. Oh, it's plus two health this time. A group of starving survivors stood around dying campfire. One said, the warmth will enhance its health, said another. One survivor said nothing at all, but cannot stop licking their lips. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Alright, I'll increase the health of... Porcupine. Now he's a 1-4. Health of Porcupine was enhanced by the warmth. So once again, pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. You withdrew. Uh, withdrawal. Ah! Ah! Can't speak today. Alright, let's go here. Uh, what's it got? Bees. Bees, bees, bees. Alright, squirrel. Into cat. Into porcupine. Lots of bees. I guess you could say this fight is the bee's knees. River. Can't do much with that. Hmm. Don't like
like how much damage he's doing, but that's okay. So we're gonna get rid of some of that damage. All right, there we go, an even trade. A cat! <laughs> Yee, maybe not. Uh, Porcupine will take care of that. My wolf is gonna hit straight on and miss the beehive because beehive won't move up fast enough. I think. So that should do three. Which will make me live, but not by much. So I think my best bet is to take a squirrel and prep for next turn. Well, shit. <laughs> I just think I have to make something happen. Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind, mangled corpse of the victim. Lucky for you. Oh, that's gonna be enough to kill, isn't it? Damn! Oof, how disappointing. Yeah, I, that's that was not good. What the hell's this? You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose a specific beast, but decide the cost you will pay. Uh, one cost, please. Casey, the hell's a Casey? I take it, I guess. Uh, bottled squirrel. Ooh, powerful item. Turn this, and I'll skip my next turn. Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Stump. He's got nothing. Ooh, he's got kingfishers. What the heck are those? What is that ability, actually? Airborne. What's that other one? Waterborne. A card bearing this such submerged itself during the opponent's turn while submerged. Opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Oh, well that's good for me. But at the same time, that means they're always going to hit me, aren't they? Oh no. Alright, I think I know what I want to do. Because this has the two-way hit. So if I put that here, it's going to attack here and here and do two damage instead of one. It's also going to hit the coyote eventually. I think. Maybe. Yes. Okay, I am smart. Eesh. So that should do one damage. And that's going to hit the tree. <laughs> Lucky draw. Huh. <laughs> So, huh? Fine. <laughs> that's gonna do two. That's gonna do two. Odds are in my favor. River otter coming in, though. Stop that! <laughs> Go! Boom, boom, boom. Hey! Alright, got that one. That one was pretty easy. What is that? I don't like it. I don't like the look of that, chief. The power with the watchful bullfrog. It leaps in the way of attacking flyers. The feathered mantis. Its prying claws strike both left and right. And the adder. I'll take a mantis. Sounds pretty help. Pretty, pretty helpful. Um. Sacrifice. Because I do have a lot of cards in hand right now and a lot of abilities I could fuse on to stuff. Let's fuse cat on two. My Casey. 
look at that. Look at all those abilities on that now. So what is this, huh? Is this another boss? Oh, yeah. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. <laughs> What's he got? Uh, another kingfisher. I got a mantis start. That's pretty good, I feel. Squirrel. Sacrifice. Mantis. Ding ding. Another kingfisher. Which fish hard shoes? What's he doing? I don't like that. Fresher fish, easy choice. Oh, is he gonna take my squirrel? Oh, is he gonna take my mantis? Is that what he was gonna do? So did I just distract him with the squirrel? Maybe? I have no clue what I just did, but I'm just gonna hit play and see what happens. Yeah, he did, he took my squirrel. Mine now, go fish. Okay. Interesting. So if I double squirrel up, and then do that, go back and do this, and then sacrifice both for my wolf, then play, that should knock him down to second, right? Yeah! Let's go! Oh, duh, duh, duh! Too fast, too so What the hell is this? Uh, it won't let me even use my items. Oh wait, not now, draw a card first. Hey, see, I'm not sure what this is gonna do, but I feel it's gonna be painful. I advise, uh, you might wanna look away. Let's see what the hell this does. Oh, well learned point of damage. I don't think he would really do it. Uh, time stop. I'll pass my next turn. Uh, I'm uh, obligated to pass. Uh, porcupine. Uh, Yeah, I don't think there's any winning this. Yep, goodbye. Well, that's... Huh. Go fish. Oh, jeez. Hi. <laughs> well, I got grabbed. <laughs> what the hell? Am I being carried? Where am I being carried to? You aren't dead yet. This is in purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask her you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. What? <laughs> it's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We'll work together to amend that. I want the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Uh, pick a card to choose a cost from. The rabbit pelt is free, so... A cost of free from the rabbit pelt. I will take its power and health from the numbers? <laughs> so see, I think my death card is gonna be a little broken. You see that too, right? 7-7. Seven, seven. <laughs> oh, jeez. And now choose the power from which you'll extract the sigils. 
Uh, Mantis, probably, because that's a double hit, it, right? Yeah, double hit. Mantis. A sigil of bifur bifurcated strike from the Mantis. I never did ask your name. Well, that, my friend, is Dr. Yu. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. No, I'm smiling. <laughs> you can't tell, but I was smiling. You always got to smile for your picture. A cost of free 7-7 seven, seven damage bifurcated strike card. Perhaps it is time. Wait. Perhaps you can understand bones. Bones? What are bones? That's a bone! The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Well, hey, Stoat. Welcome back. So let me get this straight. If I have this squirrel, and then I just use the stoat. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. I did get a bone. You'll not lose the until spent or until the battle ends. Eh. <laughs> Squirrel, then. Uh. <laughs> Bullfrog. Nice. So, oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. Alright. It's, be it's beside the safe. Uh, stuff change? Oh, stuff did change. Zero one zero one 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 is the squirrel a mantis. Okay. Oh. Oh I can take his teeth. I took his teeth. Oh I put out the flame. Are you mad about that? Guess not. Uh Still that. Actually, wait a minute. There's a... Oh! I need this! Cause look, see? You see the shape of that, right? Mm -hmm. This figurine in here, if you look at the bottom of it, it's the exact shape of this. I think eventually I'm gonna get this out and put this in here and get this knife. Still don't know anything though. There's apparently a key for this, but I don't have that either. Where's my figurine, I guess? Also, safe is moving. I'm sure it's fine. Let us continue. Alright, let's let's get some cards. Am I gonna am I gonna show up in the card pool? Coyote, but what did you expect for only four bones? The nefarious rattler, a brittle creature, once passed its monstrous fangs. And the cockroach, the unkillable con cockroach, returns to your card after dying. Uh, I'll take a coyote, I guess. I didn't see myself. You know, you're free to get up again, to continue your- to keep your blood flowing. I am no tyrant, you may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It will allow us to plan to time your to plan your next counter, but do keep your hands off my possessions. So I'm allowed to get up whenever. Oh hey, the rule book. Wait, 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 what? Two seven three. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold the phone. Two seven three. Two seven three. Oh, 
Oh. Hello. Stink bug? Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is... is the stoat around? The stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. Uh, put what away, sir? I've done nothing. Uh, just... Just stop looking at me, okay? I, I don't have a key in my hand, okay? I'm just... Taking it... Over here. You're gonna- you're gonna stop me from doing this? Yeah, I mean, you're not doing anything to stop me, so I'm just gonna... Five? Oh, what? Oh, it's a puzzle. I need to make- Who do I need to make do five damage? Me or the enemy? I guess that just works. Skink. I forgot that I put that in there. Very well, you may add it to your deck. And I'll even de and I'll deal you one every so often. Oh, okay, neat. I only did one. How did that increase my damage? Oh. Oh, I think I get it. Doesn't... Maybe. What does that do? Pick the little bit. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Hold on. You have a good idea there. Uh, no, 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 nope, 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 nope. Oh, yes. When a card bearing this sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing this sigil moves to the right. Oh. So that's what's happening. So what's happening is, when this thing is getting hit by this, right? This tail is going over here, like this is going over here. And that's why it's tanking the hit, okay. What if I do it like that? No. Ah, I had to move the flying creature down. I didn't know I could. See. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available in future challenges. Worker ant and queen ant, I think, probably? Oh, what? There's more. Oh, what the fucky fucky. Let's find out what all I can move here and how far I can move it. Well, that equals up to that. What if I do it like that? It's up to five. That's three. That's four. Ah! Hey. Curious. Caged wolf. Oh, God. How much should that do? That would do one. If I did it like this, that's still one. Here's the thing, if I could make this three somehow do damage, that would be, that'd be good. Let's 
still only does one. What if I do it like this? It still only does one. Now it does two. <gasps> now it still does one. Now it does zero. I'm great at puzzle solving. I might have to mute. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pause the recording. Give me a second. All right, sorry about that. Cell phone calls go burr, am I right? Uh... I don't understand what I'm supposed to do with this guy. Got me three. How did that get me three? <clears throat> oh, this guy's hitting this, and when he hits this, he dies. So if I, aha! What the heck? Without having met her, the wood carving is meaningless. In time, you'll understand its power. Is that a squirrel? Who's her? What's the squirrel for? Answer me, eyeballs. Yeah, I don't know. I guess let's take a seat. I think I've done all I can do. Probably. Uh, give me a pair of scissors. And... Some more scissors. I'm a fan of scissors. I'm a fan of cutting. <laughs> you again. Indeed! Our friend freed me! Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be... I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. Who the, who the hell are they talking about? And why are you guys alive, but like these cards aren't, you know? What's what what makes you guys so different? <laughs> Keep me alive. Uh Oh shit, what was I supposed to? I'm kinda using you as a meat shield right now. <gasps> Uh-oh. Ouch. I mean, you're alive! You're not dead, technically. Okay, Stoat, I know what you said. But I'm sorry. Oh, come on! <laughs> Back in the game! Did the stump just attack me? Did I just get hit by a stump? I'm stumped. <laughs> but I'm bump. <laughs> I'm getting hit by a stump. <gasps> Bullfrog. Go get him. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, give me those extra teeth. Let's, let's go here. Wolf cub, raven. Oh! It's me! I know that guy! Wait, that's all? <laughs> uh, we win. We win the entire game. It's over. GG. Uh, so, uh... <laughs> so we just win now, right? <laughs> it's, it's just over? What's this? Oh, it's the pack again. But we have three items, don't we? And he always yells. You can't take more than three items. Yeah. Instead, perhaps you'll accept this gift from my friend. Oh, rat! It's the pack rat! 
Rat give me pack rat. The prudent pack rat. He never does doubt the utility of a well-stored pack. What's that do? What does that do? Hold on. I need to check the rule book. Give me a second. Da -da -da, worthy, repulsive, and wise, born to hefty, sharp, careful, wobbly, bone. I don't see it in here, actually. Unless they skip by it. Trifactured strike? Dear God. Oh, here we go. Trinket bear. When a card bearing this sigil is played, you will receive a random item as long as you have less than three items. Oh, okay. So I can use an item for free, basically, and get a new one right after. Neat. I like it. What are those? Two coyotes right off the bat. Yee, 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 yee. Oh, hey, Stoat. <laughs> hey, Stoat. How do you feel about you being a quality meat shield? You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Listen, Stoat. Do not doubt my decisions. Ouch. Ant Queen. Ant spawner when this card bearing the sigil is played, and ant is created in your hand. Hmm. We do have a pack rat on deck, so. Snip! No! Stoat! I actually needed stoat, too. Shit. Uh. This is embarrassing. Ow. Give me another squirrel. Alright. Get him, pack rat. What the heck? Hoggy bank. To the user, you will immediately gain four bones. Okay. That's useful, I guess. I see the way this is going. I concede. You may accept my surrender, or you may finish this match the slow way. What is that? Sure, I'll take it. I accept your surrender. You come across a hobbled man standing beside some boulders. He caught me off guard! Not supposed to see me till further down the road. Say, I like me a gamble. If you could pick a boulder that has gold in it, you could keep it. It's the prospector. Show me where to strike. Or, where, what do you think, see? Left, right, or center? What are we doing, see? You haven't had any any interaction as of late. Let's do it. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> pick one, see? One, two, or three. Left, right, center. Uh, back. <laughs> Alright, center. Dag nabbit. No gold. But that is a funny looking varmint. That's a beehive. <gasps> Keep it. Alright. Uh, I guess I got a bee. I guess I get some beehive. Uh, we could go get another possible pack, right? We could do a sacrifice or we could do a campfire. Let's do a sacrifice. We haven't done a sacrifice in a hot second. The choice is yours. Oh, I can sacrifice stick. I why well, do not want to sacrifice myself. No. I can make myself more powerful. Okay, check this out. Sacrifice the pack rat, right? Put it on to me. <gasps> Give me the power. Yeah. I am, I'm just the most powerful card now. I am. No one else. Oh! 
<laughs> Destruction. Uh, I'll just use this, because I can. Uh, and uh, we win. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, it's over. Um, I'll just do this and just do this for fun. And boom, boom, boom. Yeah! That, that was good, right? Uh, that's the good stuff. What do we got? One cost, two cost, bone. Uh, give me a one coster. Cat! Gato! We got that El Gato Cato! Let's go! Hello! Huh? <laughs> um. We'll get rid of. It's me! Am I your choice? You know what, Stinkbug? You are my choice. Empower me! I can now sacrifice Stinkbug and he will never die. Or stink bug. I said stick bug. All right, prospector time. My boss battles are high stakes test of aptitude. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not. I will let you keep the smoke. The smoke. The incessant clank, 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 clanking reverberate between your ears. The path ahead is blocked by a grotesque figure. Twas the prospector. Hey! Oh. Give me Dr. You. Oh, we win. <laughs> Game's over. It's all over. Uh, let's just. There are no cards of mean mine to cut yet. Me, I mean. Uh, let's just place squirrel. Uh, destroyer of worlds. <laughs> And, uh, let's just win the game. You know, let's just, let's just... Oh, wait, no, he, I forgot he has a second phase. Oh, no. I forgot about the second phase. Oh, well. Boom, boom. You know, just get him the second phase instantly. That's good enough for me. All right, he's going, them cards. No. Gold! I've struck gold! Yeah, we can draw here. Not what I was hoping for, but you know, it works. Get him! If I could just keep whittling him away with the opossum, that just works for me. So many bones. I could block him with the squirrel, or I could go for a big play with the wolf. But I think I'm gonna go for the big play here. Sacrifice, sacrifice, wolf. Which will kill the bloodhound. The adder can only do one. And the wolf is just gonna do more damage than that, so. Prospector boss again? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're doing it again. Bad play. Doesn't matter. Bang! Let me relight your candles. Hey! Very well. You may choose a rare card. Oh boy. Child 13. Oh! <laughs> the long elk! I have no words for this freak of nature. Touch of death and move. Ooh. And another Yurlele! 
I want the long elk. Give me the long. The longest elk you've ever seen. After the harrowing encounter with the prospector, you gathered yourself and continued onwards. Let me see. The air grew thick with moisture. The buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls. You beheld the wetlands. Awesome. Can I get more than one of me? The regal moose, the creature of the wild, make way for it. The moose buck. An elusive otter submerges itself during it the turn. And a rattler. I'll take a rattler. What is this? This is something we have not seen before, right? I don't think we've seen this. I want to touch it. I'm going to touch it. You came across the familiar stones, but there was something different. You initiated that the fate of the creature selected would not be pleasant. <laughs> Pick something else. Oh. Hey, yeah, guess what's a creature I don't really care for? Uh, I don't really care about this caged wolf. He hasn't. He has no use other than blocking. So, uh, seems. Goodbye. Uncage the menagerie. What was that? You carelessly slaughtered. You carelessly slaughtered the caged wolf. However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. A minor boon of the Bone Lord. You'll start each battle with one extra bone. Okay. Neat. Shook off the viscera of the poor caged wolf and carried onwards. Huh. Look at that. I got a bone. And I got me! <laughs> the best card. I don't know why it's the best seat, because now I just win. And victory royal. <laughs> Look at all those teeth. Oh, and it's the trapper. I'm going to get so many gold pelts. I have the most exquisite pelts. First one's free. Three gold pelts. Let's go. Much appreciated. If we find that traitor, oh boy. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I'm just gonna screenshot that. And especially uh, this. That's just, that's just powerful. The most powerful card you've ever done dare seen. Dr. Yu. God amongst men. Destroyer of worlds. Uh. Let's sacrifice. I'm feeling it. I could sacrifice the long elk. Will it get both the abilities? Your choice. Stoat, I bestow upon you the power of Long Elk. You must prove him more powerful. Go! Yeah? All right. Oh, he does get both the abilities. Ooh, doggy. What are you? Who's this? Is that maybe the traitor? Is that the traitor? Am I... You know, see, I think I've been looking at it all wrong. Maybe the traitor was in our hearts all along. So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory. In the flash. Oh, hey, me! <laughs> uh, you know what, see, uh, you're, you're looking away, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna use this just so I can get a new item. Oh, that hurt. It's fine. It's only a tooth. I didn't need it anyway. 
Dr. Yu, squirrel in a bottle. <gasps> and win. Bonk, bonk. Money! I really hope you're the traitor. The traitor. Not the traitor, but the traitor. You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. You definitely don't seem to be the traitor. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke, pass one of my trials and I will be yours, in a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again, but first you will have to choose a trial. The trial of blood. Draw three cards must cost at least four blood combined to cost. Trial of wisdom. Three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. Trial of power. Four attack power. Um. Oh. I'm not really confident in any of these. I do have a lot of sigils, I guess. Uh, I also don't have the best blood cost on things either. Two, two, two. Yeah, no. I think I have to go Sigil. Because, admittedly, if I get Doc D1 power, I just win, right? But we also have to take into account all of this. And this, and these. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go Sigil. Child of Wisdom begin. That's... Well, that's just damn unlucky. <gasps> that was probably the unluckiest I could have gotten, honestly. Let's take the bullfrog's ability and put it on. The wolf. Boom. What is that? Is that the traitor maybe? Hopefully. Dear God, I hope so. <laughs> I got a lot of pelt. Look. There's a third talking card somewhere. Around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get the to get things back to normal. Alright. Well it doesn't matter, because I just win the game. I exist, you know? I'm just here, I'm playing, I'm vibing. Might as well just call the card Doctor You the Invincible, because that's pretty much what I am. Yep. <laughs> See? Even he agrees. <laughs> yeah! Tooth, 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 tooth. You encountered a small outpost in the woods, tended by a mysterious woman. Yes! The traitor! Yes! Her appearance is unsettling, but you are more uh, mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. Oh, I could trade you any of these. Take your time. Ooh. Uh, what is that? Where these sacrifice card bearing sigils count as three blood rather than one. Okay. Many lives. Oh, if I had a cat and a goat, ooh, that would have been nice, but I'll just take the cat. Is that a gold pelt? Magnificent. Ooh, rare cards. That's an age up. There's a pack rat. I'll take age up. I'll take the pack rat. And I guess I'll take the Gek. These pelts are most excellent. My thanks. Let's put the 
ability to be constantly sacrificed onto my unassuming Gek. So now he's just a better cat. <laughs> he's now a better cat. Yay. Boom. All right, angler time. The mud tugged hard at your feet, forcing you to slow your pace. A rank odor caused your stomach to churn and your eyes to water. It was the rotting fish that hung from the branches around you. A huge man approached. Go fish. All right. Give me Dr. Yo. The angler. Mind his hook? Play a squirrel or something. When he aims at, when he aims it, that will protect your best cards. Figured that out. What do you play? Play that. So if I squirrel into Beehive, I can then play Stickbug, who can be infinitely sacrificed. And yeah, it's gonna be my turn. Still fish, hard shoes. Hmm, new fish, easy choose. Alright, check this plan. Sacrifice both of these, right? Play the Ant Queen. So he should now target Power Numbers, the Ant's Creed. Take new fish, easy. But if I play the smoke, mm, fresh choose. Yeah, there we go. Big brain. Catch me out here, big brain. And then he'll take my smoke. Take fish, go fish. And then if I play the squirrel and then I place the ant, now they're gonna be tutus. Nice, nice, nice. Go fish. Uh, bait buckets. Son tells me I don't want to hit those, but at this moment I don't really have a choice, so I'm just gonna draw a squirrel in. I guess brace for impact. Unless I might be able to two turn it. Check it. Oh, great white. Yee. Yeah, but those should knock it before. I get a B. I get a buzz. Will I ever know what you evolve into? And that should do. Nice! Didn't even need Dr. E for the boss. Although he would have just destroyed. <laughs> need a light? Thank you. Grizzled Angler Achievement. Your reward? Well, let's find out. Another Yurli, another Pack Rat, and another Long Elk. Hell, I'll take another Yurli. You considered one of the angler catches as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. Dinner would have to wait. No dinner! Let me think. Ooh. A frigid gust bellowed, unwelcomed into your lungs. The beauty of falling snow failed to distract you from the chill of your bones. You had ascended to the snow line. Uh, let's do a trial. Trial of bones, five bones in cost, three sigils, six health. Um, I could probably do health. Let's do health. Health. 
the child health begin? Uh, hey, I win! <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> You've passed the trial. Hey! What do I get? Bullfrog with poison, porcupine with move, and kingfisher with ant spawner? <laughs> sure, let's take the kingfisher. Uh, hourglass is nice. Some bone tokens for a rainy night. That pitiful opossum. Frozen opossum bottle. Easier frozen opossums cross in your hand. Frozen opossums to find a zero power for a frozen way. Uh, I guess I'll take the frozen opossum. Me again. Elk fawn. Oh, they're gonna grow up. So I guess my goal here is to not let them grow up. Keep me alive. Enough! <laughs> Oh, the bee is free. It's free bee. Heh, <laughs> free bee. Get it? It's funny. Laugh. Ugh. Talk to you, maybe? That's the geck. Card bearing essential perishes, the creature inside is at least in its place. Ah! Dr. Yo, come on. Yeesh. Not what I'm looking for at all. I'm gonna win this fight, I have to stop him. Come on. Ah, uh, well, it's playable! I don't think I come back from this though. Yeah, I think this is a loss unless I get like docked to you now. Nope. <laughs> Might be enough to save me, at least for a turn. Nope, not enough. Yeesh. Yeesh, yeesh, yeesh. There is a traitor. I do have a lot of teeth, so I think that's my best bet here. My pelts are clean. One on the house. I'm gonna take one gold and I'll gather two wolves. Thanks for your patronage. Alright, campfire. That's a plus two health fire. I'll put. Put the geck down. Make my geck a little stronger. 
Okay. Move here. Okay, I got the Gek again. Let's see. More fawns. Those fawns are annoying. Talk to you, maybe? Not sure if that'll really help, but sure. You know, block some damage. The rattler. You're a lol. Ugh. Wolf pelt to block. Hopefully, when my pelts get smacked like that, I don't lose them. Oh, I need to draw first. Uh, card. Pack rat. Uh, would there be enough to kill? It would. So if I just place that there. Okay. Scraped on by. Show me some of your exquisite pelts. Hair pelts. What is this? Uh. The power and. It's covered in gunky gunk. I guess I'll take it. I gotta know. Give me the tentacles. Oh, wolf pelts too. Exquisite. Ooh. Mantis with beehive, a moose buck. Another one of these. This one with a bell. The bell ring. I can't read that. <laughs> Great white with sharp quills, though. Three cost. Mm. I guess I'll take the mantis and the tentacle. Golden pelt, exquisite. What is this? Amorpheus. When a card bearing the sigil is drawn, place the sigil's random sigil. Two bone. Sure. You have my gratitude. And sacrifice the strange larva. And give its power. Two. The amoeba. Boom. Now the amoeba will slowly grow up. And become even stronger. Frozen opossum. And more fawns. Hey, that's the boy. That's just our win condition right there. What is that? I think that's probably gonna be where we stop the episode after whatever the hell that is. Spawns a rabbit when played. Fetch any card in your deck. Yeah, I wanna fetch any card in my deck. And we'll sacrifice. Sacrifice the packret. 
onto the tentacle mirror. Alright, here we go. A man stood before you, a man you recognized immediately. It was the trapper. You reached out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. Sorry, but today you will supply the pelts. Oh! Alright. Strange frog. Those aren't frogs! I don't want to place Doctor You yet. Not until I know what these traps do. Okay, so the traps cannot hit my things from the side. Okay, good to know. fast too soon. Here's the thing though, Doc, do you can beat those. You can beat out some of those grizzlies. If I snip you, then squirrel into work rant, then wolf pelt here. Yeah, yeah. Draw some strong here. This is not the strong I was looking for. I don't think I can. I don't think I got enough power. As great as Duck Dew is, he can't. Ah! Still alive though. Because I think I die here. Yeah. Damn. I almost beat out the grizzlies, though. Oh, time to get pelted. I almost beat out the grizzlies, though. I want that to be known. <laughs> Oh, what do you think would have happened if I beat out the Grizzlies? That is a question and a half, huh? Oh, do I get to make another death card? Where do you put that? Oh, hello! Now it's your turn to become the death card! Oh. Pathetic. Do you really think I would leave film in there? Do you have any idea what the camera is capable of? Give me that. Oh man, you have a memento to create. Behold your death card. Shall we begin to ink it? Choose a card to take the cost from. Uh, I guess I'll take a one cost. Not as good as a free, but you know. <sighs> All these suck. I guess I'll take the mirror. I'm 
choose a card from which to extract its sigils. I guess I'll take the sig uh, fledgling. I never did ask her name. Uh, you know, since we already have Dacty as a death card, let's 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 add silver. There we go. That is one powerful camera, though. You just get a picture of someone and just kills them. Not much for trading that last one. Are you prepared to make the right deals? A gift from the angler. You see, he was defeated recently and wishes to redeem himself. It would be unfortunate if you were to fall to the prospect before he was given the chance. The hook is powerful. You may steal one of my cards with it. For that reason, you will not find any others along the path. Use it wisely. It seems Stinkbug has made its way in. Also, does the the stoat looks different? He's more square, isn't he? But it is dealt, so it stands. Huh. What is that? You know, I think I know exactly what it is. It's a cliffhanger! That's right! I have to go for today, but this is a lot of fun. I'm enjoying this. Uh, so... It says last saved three seconds ago, so we are all saved. Anyway, as always, I've been Dr. You, joined by Sea Sandwich, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!